Hey there, Booktube. Everyone who reads it must converse. This is another edition of my beautiful book series. We're going to take a look at Bruegel, the Master. This is a new work to me. I had it sent to me by um, a fan of the channel and a fan of what I do. It is an amazing uh, treat to receive, so I want to say thank you. And show some of the beautiful work therein. So this is this is just your your typical um, wonderfully done art book. And I am not very familiar with Brugel, to tell you the truth. Everybody, anybody who's a fan of my channel knows that I love William Blake, but Brugel. Did, was what it seems like on 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 a on a quick inspection is mostly noted for landscapes and people that what 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 I find is these huge wonderfully done landscape pieces and also depictions of people in the midst of their lives there is so much going on in this one this is called the battle between carnival and lent so talking about you know the christian calendar there between uh carnival and lent i mean just so much going on something like that you can stare at for for a long time and get a lot out of and you see here here's here's yet another one just this kind of oh so such a busy scene so a lot of people you know busy in their lives doing their thing probably a lot to work into and to examine in the pictures with what what the people are doing this is called Fortitude. This is called Temperance. And so these are kind of archetypal powers. Reminds me of the Tarot. Prudence on this side. Justice on this side. Maybe depicting how these things, charity and hope, in an archetypal form, I mean, obviously, we have like a central figure. Probably symbolizing hope in some kind of way. But then also, the whole scene around faith, temperance, maybe another, another uh, charity, faith, another uh, kind of iteration of those same kind of things. Like I said, I haven't, I'm not very versed with Bruegel. And so I'm going to uh, be taking a look at this at my leisure and just really getting, um, getting into some of this work. This comes in conjunction with another book called Headlong by Michael uh, I think it's Ferre. He's a British humorist, but wrote a wrote a book that's all about um, art, and and Bruegel plays a part in that book. And when I posted a picture of this book on Instagram, I got a response of, "Am I uh, kind of gearing up for reading the Recognitions by William Gaddis?" The Recognitions is a book that's all about art and art forgery. And so, Bruegel um, plays a part in that novel as well, I'm sure. One thing I have seen and that I'm very taken aback by is these wonderful, like, winter scenes. There's, there's one, let me see if I can, if I can... I'll, uh, I'll show it because it is so wonderful 
I mean, look how many people are in this one painting. This is called Christ Carrying the Cross. And we see the, the cross there in the center. But look at the scene that we're privy to. It's, it's just awesome. Unbelievable. So, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff to kind of work into. Here's the work. This is what I wanted to show. Because it looks like it's snowing. I mean, the, 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 the snow is done in such a way that it ha actually gives a texture to this work. To, these, to, the, to the picture itself, this 2D image actually looks texturized by how the snow is done. It's, it's completely masterful. One iteration of the Tower of Babel. Right there. Let's see if I can get it a little straight for you. One iteration of the Tower of Babel. Right there. There's, there's multiple iterations of the Tower of Babel. Here's another kind of probably Bruegel's most famous piece, at least by uh, modern standards. It's all inspiring. I mean, there's a whole city in the background. This is a city here, and the 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 size of that is just oppressive. We have wonderful scenes of light, wonderful scenes of darkness, scenes of war, scenes of happy. This is called the triumph of death. Wonderful scenes of, you know, war, uh, horrible scenes of war. And then wonderful scenes of just like, you know, daily life of, of people. So this is the triumph of death. I mean, it look, it's just like everywhere you look is something horrific. We have armies of the dead over there. Everywhere you look is something just horrifying. Death, um, death victorious, right? Awesome. I mean, it's just awesome. There's so much awesome stuff to this book. I can't wait to really, to really get into it. This is a, a war, one of the war depictions. So let me see if I can get the, uh, get the name of it. Mm. Is that the suicide of the soul? I believe. The suicide of the soul is war, you know, is in killing others. And war is definitely a suicide of the soul. Amazing, amazing stuff. I hope you enjoyed this booktube. I'll leave you with this one here. Wonderfully beautiful uh, scene at sea. I mean, just the m completely masterful way that this water is done. These clouds are done. It just, you know, it just, it just, sun, sunset is upon us. The perspective, it's all, it's all just, it's all just amazing. Maybe that is a, a war at sea. The way that, uh, the middle here, you have the the ship that's uh, smoking, it looks like maybe there's a war at sea, is what we're, what we're seeing. It is called View of the Bay of Naples, this one here. So, I hope you enjoyed this book too. If you know uh, Bruegel, uh, drop me a line. If you uh, like, like what you see and maybe want to see more or something like that, hit me on Instagram. Uh, and I'll post some pictures 
and uh, you know share some more detailed images some close-ups and things like that there thank you for joining uh holler at me about anything bye bye